Hello, this is Brett Lonsdale and I want to show you the new SPFX client-side web part version of DeliverPoint. So here inside this brand new SharePoint team site, what I'm going to do is just use the SharePoint out of the box reporting to have a look at the site permissions. And one of the issues that you see with this is we've got the site owners and the site members displayed, but it doesn't necessarily show me who's inside any of the Active Directory security groups or anything like that. So we need to navigate to the advanced permissions page. And this is where we can start to drill into some of the different SharePoint groups using SharePoint out of the box. But notice here that I've got an Active Directory security group called sales and unfortunately that's not being enumerated so what I want to do is show you a much easier way of understanding who's got permissions to your content and also being able to manage those permissions as a site owner or also a site collection administrator or even a tenant administrator and how we can do that is by installing DeliverPoint and taking a look first of all in the top right hand corner of your page and what you'll see is there's a little opaque icon that gives you some of the different deliver point permission reports this can be executed inside the page itself or it can also be executed against any SharePoint list items or SharePoint lists which we'll be having a look at as well so this is a tool that's designed for the end user as much as the tenant administrator since end users are also managing permissions on a daily basis when they become site owners or site collection administrators. So let's have a look at the discover permissions report and as I execute that we get this nice looking dialog that shows me every user who's got permissions to this, this SharePoint team site. And Not only can I see what permissions they have I can also see how those permissions have been assigned to those users. So notice here we can select any users such as demo user 11 here that I see has contribute permissions. And as I expand that SharePoint group, I can see that the user itself is just directly a member of the SharePoint group. However, it's not always that straightforward. If we have a look at some of these other ones, you'll notice here that some of them are through the Office 365 group that belongs to this team site, whilst others are also through the Active Directory security group. So this report tells me everybody who's got permissions and also then how those permissions have been granted to each of those users. Now what I can do if I don't like one of these permission assignments such as maybe demo user 11 here, I can select demo user 11 and go up to the actions menu where I can start to perform actions against that entry. So one of the things I might want to do, perhaps demo user 11 has left our organization or changed roles with inside the organization. So what I could do is transfer those permissions away from demo user 11 and grant them to somebody else. So I'm going to type in here demo user 10. Uh, so we'll select that user and I can select multiple users if I want to as well. I can also choose what I want to affect in this operation. And then when I'm happy, I can just choose run. So that performs the actions and it in this case has modified the members of the SharePoint group and it tells me exactly what it's done. So that's how we can transfer permissions between users and also report on users with inside a particular team site. Now I could also go to a document library. So if we navigate to a document library here, I can perform permissions reports on the document library itself. So notice here we have a discover permissions report on the library um, as well as being able to select an item and hit discover permissions on that actual list item and that produces the same report but the focus is on a list item as opposed to the site this time. So as well as being able to access the reports within the context of a, of a site, what if we want to perform permission reports across a whole load of sites? And what we can do there is actually create our own page where we want to add a deliver point web part. So I've already created the page to take out that step from the video. So we can navigate to my new deliver point SPFX page, which could be something that you create for a tenant administrator or also for a site collection administrator. So when we click on to edit to modify this page, we can go through and add our new client side web part, which is uh, called deliver point. We can position it on the page wherever we want it to appear, and we can also make it full screen if we want to. So I'm just going to go ahead and republish this page. And now what we've got, since I'm logged in here as the tenant admin, is I've got the ability to have a look at every single site collection there is inside my tenant. And notice as I scroll down to the very bottom, the icon changes to the Teams logo. So this is actually also showing me any Microsoft Teams sites 
where I can also go through and manage permissions on those as well. So here inside the tree view, one of the things I might want to do is scroll down to a site collection that's got a little bit more going on. So here under site slash lightning tools, we can expand that and I can start to see the different subsites and the lists and libraries that make up that site collection. And by choosing one of the objects, it might be a individual list. I can go through and discover the permissions on that list directly from the tree view, or I can also go through and select multiple items. So it could be this sales team site, but if we expand that as well, I've also got partners and direct sales that I can also go through and select, and I can produce the report on those three entries. So uh, it's showing me the uh, the sales team site, but as we scroll down and go through the pages or apply a filter, we're also going to see some of the other sites that I selected there. So we're not just about producing permission reports on the sites that I select. What we can also do is make the focus a user. So here I can go through and search for an individual user account. So in here we'll uh, select demo user one as an example. And from the reports menu, I can also produce a unique permissions report. And that unique permissions report shows me which domain groups as well as SharePoint groups this user is a member of, as well as showing me any unique list permissions or item permissions throughout that particular site collection. So when somebody does go to transfer to a different role inside the organization or leave the role, we can confidently transfer those permissions knowing what permissions are going to be transferred to another user, or we can just simply go through and delete the permissions. And notice some of these other operations as well, such as being able to copy transfer, delete, grant, or also revoke permissions, which means I can take a specific permission level away from a user. Okay, so this is the new version of DeliverPoint. DeliverPoint has been around for quite some time now, in fact, uh, well over 12 years um, for SharePoint on-premises and for the last four or five years has also been available for SharePoint online. But this uh, version allows us to do a lot more um, and also works with the modern sites as well. So it will be available soon. And um, if you are interested in joining the beta program, then there is a link in the blog post where you can go through and uh, join that beta program and gain access to this permissions tool yourself. Okay, many thanks.